Hello, AACPS staff. In this short video tutorial, we're going to talk about the integrated grading window for viewing student work, giving feedback, and grades. So right here, I am in the teacher view where I have clicked and I have an expanded an assignment so that I can see all of the students in my class. I can see if they have any attachments uh, with this assignment, and I can see the status of it, if it's turned in or still assigned to them. If I select a student and I click right here, it takes me into the integrated grading window where I can, again, give them a grade, but also give them feedback. So let's take a quick tour before we get into exactly how to do that. Here in the upper left hand corner, I can see the name of the student whose work I am currently viewing. I can see the status of this file or this assignment that it is turned in. If I click this little drop down, I can see the other students in the class. I could click on a student to jump directly to their work. And I also have options to do things like sort by first name or status, meaning I could have all of the turned in assignments show up at the top. Similarly, I have these little arrows here that allow me to go alphabetically from the first student in the class to the next and so on, makes grading really easy. If we turn our attention to the upper right hand corner, I've got my button here to return this to the student. So after I've graded it or given them feedback, I can click to return it. Similarly, if I want to use these toggle arrows to go through every student in the class, I can click this drop down next to the return to return multiple submissions, meaning everybody that I had graded that was ready to be returned to the student. Down here on the right hand side, we can see that this student has turned in three different attachments as a part of this assignment. I can click on each of these to open that attachment in that large view over on the left hand side so that I can see and grade each component of this assignment that was turned in. Then underneath, we've got the space here to give the student the numeric grade. We can see that this assignment was out of a total of 50 points, and we have an option here to give them private comments, things like telling them what they could do better or what they should fix before they resubmit the assignment. So let's turn our attention to the workspace in the middle. What we are currently viewing is a Google Slides file that was turned in by this student. And if you look at the top, we can see here kind of a condensed toolbar that is similar to what we would see in Google Slides, but it's not the full toolbar. If we click this arrow over here on the right hand side, it expands and now we are seeing that we are in a full version of Google Slides inside of Google Classroom. So I can make use of the same sort of comments here that I would if I were collaboratively building a file and wanted to tell my colleague uh, a suggestion that I had. So if what I needed to do here was have my student fix this sentence right here, I could highlight it, come up and select to add a comment and tell the student, oh, let's say, fix the spelling mistakes here and make the comment. Now when I return this file, the student will be able to see my suggestion that there is a spelling mistake here and that they need to address this before they give it back to me. I can come over here and I can type in the total score that my student has earned on the work that they've submitted. I can type out private comments down here. Once I have their numeric grade and uh, any comments that I would like to make, I can click to post this. And if I'm ready, I can click to return this to my student. But before I return it, I want to talk about one more option that you have here in the integrated grading window. And that is the option to make use of a comment bank. So for a lot of our teachers, you teach the same subject across multiple classes, or you teach the same subject every day or every other day, which means you're making a lot of the same comments when you're addressing student work. If you teach math, you're making a lot of the same comments about mathematical corrections that people could make. If you teach something like literacy, you're making a lot of comments uh, addressing spelling and punctuation and capitalization and so on. So if you find yourself making the same comments all the time, you can click here to begin building a comment bank for yourself. When you click up here, add to bank, you can type in whatever comments you frequently make. 
and then choose to add that to your comment bank. Now, anytime that you are working on a student file and you want to use the comment option here, if you begin typing with a hashtag, it opens up your entire comment bank for you to select on something that you use frequently from your comment bank. It automatically populates into this field and you can simply click comment. So it reduces the amount of typing that you have to do to make the same comments over and over. So now that I have given my student a grade, I have given them private comments, I've even given them more specific detailed comments here in the body of the file that I want them to make corrections for, I simply click return in the upper right hand corner. This assignment has been returned to this student with his grade. And I can use the drop down arrow to go to the next student's assignment that I want to grade or the toggle arrows up here to also navigate to the next student and give them their grade and feedback.